and today I'm going to teach you how to make or how to extract DNA from a raspberry. So the first thing you'll need is a paper towel, measuring utensils, a hair tie or a rubber band, a cup and something to stir with, two teaspoons of water, um, rubbing alcohol, one fourth teaspoon of dish soap, a pinch of salt, and a Ziploc bag. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure out one fourth teaspoon of dish soap, two teaspoons of water, and a pinch of salt, and put it all into this cup. So, after you've done that, then you will take a raspberry and you will smush it up into your Ziploc bag. Once your raspberry is smushed up, then you will pour your dish soap, water, and salt solution in with your raspberry and you'll mix it all together and make sure it gets evenly spread out throughout all of the raspberry. So then you'll take your paper towel and you will put it over your cup like this and then you will put your hair tie around it like this. After you've done that, you will pour what's, um, the solution that's in your Ziploc bag onto here and then you'll sit and wait a couple of minutes for that to happen. So I'm going to pause the video because it's going to take a while. Okay, here's what mine looks like. It's just raspberry juice mixed with soap, water, and salt. So now, before you begin, you'll want to make sure that your alcohol, rubbing alcohol, is cold. It doesn't have to, it's just, it works out nicer for things. So depending on the size of your cup, you will pour some amount of rubbing alcohol into here. So I'm going to fill up about a third of the way, like that. So now you can stir this around and you'll see little floating kind of cloudy things are super thin but you can see them. Now after a couple of minutes you can't see it anymore so I'll show your family quickly. So yeah you can just see it in there. Now I think it's kind of obvious that forensic pathologists and scientists don't use this method to get DNA out of evidence, but it's pretty cool anyway. So this is probably pretty close to how they do it. They just use a machine and then it matches DNA for them. So if you can, try this at home. It's super cool. You can't really get the DNA on camera, so I won't try to show you. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you try it at home.